Hello, good morning. You find me on a canoe on a lake called Ba Dok Bla Song Pi Nong. Um, never been over here, over here before. It's over by Putuntani. 100 baht a rod. It's a, a natural lake in the sense that it was it was dug out and, and the earth was used to, to move into Bangkok and build, you know, build up the land. But uh, it's never been stocked. It's a beautiful looking lake. I've never been here before. Um, the water's really clear. It's full of Canadian pondweed. And the guy's got a canoe. I'm going to end up in at this rate. The guy's got a canoe and he said we could use it. So we're, because it's flooded, it's been raining really hard in Bangkok. Um, we're just out going around the lake on the canoe. I take a turn doing the, the paddles and Danny, that while Danny's fishing and then vice versa. And uh, yeah, I had a snakehead uh, hit the lure and jump out the water, but I didn't manage to land it. Dived down into the Canadian pondweed and got rid of the hook. Now's Danny's turn. It's a massive lake and we're just going to take a bit of time going around on this canoe and uh, see what else we can do. This is why you don't want a bait caster. It's alright. Patient. It's your shit lure, that's what it is. In a minute, if you get a fish, it won't be my shit lure. It'll be like, where did you get that from? I want to buy five. Yeah. <laughs> Turn you around and you can have a, bit, a go at the edge. It's a bit awkward casting, isn't it? Yeah, we're on a very low boat. I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up, but look how thick this uh, this pondweed is. I don't know how deep of a water we're in, but I reckon it's about six to eight foot deep here, as a guess, and that's all Canadian pondweed. Get one now, save me editing the video. Hey, so um, I've gave the canoe up for a bit. Sitting in that canoe, casting, moving, it's uh, it's not very comfortable. But we did a couple of laps of the big lake behind me. Danny had some follows, I had some follows. I had a fish hook up at one point. A, um, a snakehead hit it, hit the frog on the surface, jumped out the water, could see it in his mouth. He jumped up again, he's still in his mouth. He went down into the weed, got caught up in the weed. By the time we moved the boat over him so I could pull him straight up, uh, he wasn't there anymore. But it was good fun. We did a couple of laps, we enjoyed it. Um, might take the boat out later. There's another lake here I'll show you in a minute. Might drag the boat over to there. There's loads of movement on that lake. Um, okay, so this, this, uh, this lake is 100 baht per rod. And basically you just pay in that 100 baht because there's a bit of management here and they don't allow people to come down and net and trap and use electric to take the fish out. Other than that, it's basically natural. Um, as you can see, we've got absolutely no shelter. When it rains, it floods. Um, the guy here doesn't sell bait, he doesn't sell food, he doesn't sell drinks. Uh, you really are on your own. So if you do come down here, be better prepared than I am. Um, I'll show you around this lake. Okay, so this is the this is the lake we just took the canoe round. It's a fairly big lake. It's got some lovely patches of lilies and and weed and stuff in it. Look at all these lilies. Awesome. Proper natural. Um normally there's a road here, but with all the rain, it's no longer there. <laughs> and then this is the second lake. Uh, probably about a third or maybe even a quarter the size of the main one but I see a lot of fish moving it's got lilies all the way down the side this one looks awesome so I think later on I'll have to take the the boat out and and have a go on this one with the with the lure but for now um, try a bit of bait fishing I've got one rod here with just a little lead weight and, and a load of worms hoping for a feather back or a snakehead uh, I've got this rod here 
this one's set up with some bread and some ram tilapia rohu anything that wants to come along and Danny's basically doing the same and he's got it set up on that digger bucket one with worms and one with bread so let's see what happens we've both had quite a lot of success on that lure we haven't had one yet but you finally finally handy day finally got a little common snakehead no problem and now it's going to rain. Okay, great. Let's Sticking back. back. And I know it's not very big, but that took a lot of hard work. Mm -hmm. You need a piss, you need a push. Nah, yeah, you're alright. This is how survivalists do it. I feel like grilled bears, apart from I haven't got the five star hotel and the business class travel. Who's grilled bears? Bear grills. There you go. So, a bit of an update. Danny's now got two rods in this lake to the left, and he's just rode one out right to the other side. I'm still persisting with this lake and we got some friends all of us are trapped on this little bit of road because of the waters uh, up high and um, this this guy here he's got a um, giant snakehead a small one but a giant snakehead it, it ate a baby fish and then he's trying with the lure um, spoke to the guy because we had extra rods out I said hey you want me to pay like a hundred baht per rod and he goes oh no it's a hundred baht per person uh, just do what you want so that's what we're doing Oh, okay, so there goes Danny. I've been um, working this bank with the frog lure. I got about four or five hits in 20 minutes, but nothing hooked up. Probably too small or a Pulled the lure out of the mouths, whatever, but it's cooled down a bit. There's some dark clouds coming over. So Danny's off to uh, have a go at the snakehead. Best of luck to him. By about 4.30, the heavens opened and we had to stop fishing. Up until that point, I was enjoying myself, taking the canoe around the lake, only 100 baht per person. I was fishing with three rods at one point. Presenting bait like bread and ram is very difficult at this lake because the weed is so thick. But for lure fishing it's not a bad option, it's only an hour away from Bangkok. During the day we got a good few hits and runs, I only managed to get one fish on the camera. Just as we was packing up, Danny did one last lap of the lake on his own and he tells me he got three giant snakehead. Only small fish, but uh, he didn't take his phone with him so I don't have any photos to share. I saw two other giant snakehead come out to the Thai guys that were using live bait. I think if I went back, I'd probably take some small live bait with me, set it up underneath a float, sit in the boat with the live bait up against the reeds, up against the lilies, and, and hope for something like a feather back or a giant snakehead. Can't complain at the price for 100 baht. Thanks for watching. See you soon.